What's going on? It's Fist bringing you the Detroit Lions post game show. Talking about the Lions come from behind win against the New Orleans Saints playing in a dome at the Lions Stadium Ford Field this weekend. And there's a lot to, there's a lot to say about this game. Uh, first of all, I want to start out by saying do you think the Lions would ever have been able to come back with Jim Swartz, Steve Mariucci, any other coach in the past? Do you think they would be able to come back with those, the teams of the past and win that game? <clears throat> no, they would not. So as a Detroit fan, the most important thing to me is the fact that Jim Caldwell who has two Super Bowl two Super Bowl rings as an offensive coordinator, and there's other leadership on the team as well that has Super Bowl rings. The fact that Jim Caldwell has changed the culture for the Detroit Lions is a blessing. Think about this: in the past, the Detroit Lions were a you know just a sideshow, a flash in the pan. Hey, there was nothing about stats. It was all, it was, it was, I mean, it was all about stats. You know, how many touchdowns Kelvin Johnson got? How many thousand yards is, uh, is, is, uh, you know, Stafford gonna throw for? That's what this was all about. And, you know, and people were like, yeah, that's fine now, but we want to get W's. It's all about the W's now. And it all balances out in the NFL. Anybody can win any given Sundays. Yeah. Should we have lost to the, the Buffalo Bills? Probably not. Should we should we should have we beaten the New Orleans Saints with Drew Brees who had a two two score lead on us? Probably not. But it all balances out. But the fact is, is that Jim Caldwell has changed the culture in Detroit. And now the fact is there's more confidence. The team is about winning, having the confidence to win. And, and uh you know, that is the most important thing. Jim Caldwell is doing a great job. Unfortunately, I, I really like what Jim Caldwell is doing. Unfortunately, uh, Lombardi's play calling, I don't know if that was something they game planned for against New Orleans Saints, throwing a bunch of short passes when, you know, um, Stafford is a down-the-field guy. And, you know, it just didn't seem to work out the first three quarters. But, fortunately. You know, uh, the Detroit Lions come back with their young players like Fullerton, who's basically replacing Broyles, and you got to Golden Tate, who really shine. I mean, you can see the difference. I mean, that breakaway speed, the 83-yard touchdown and breakaway speed, you'd never see anything like that other than Calvin Johnson. And the fact that, that Stafford is getting some time and getting some reps in with the younger guys and newer guys is going to even be better for when Calvin Johnson comes back. Now, we do have some problems on the right side, right tackle. Obviously, you know, maybe that is a problem. But it looks like to me, you know, um, uh, it's either Stafford is scared to, you know, uh, take a little bit more time to read, maybe because his, def his offensive line is not holding long enough. He's missing a lot of touchdown reads. And, and, and that could be because of the right tackle. We do have problems on the offensive line. I mean, we do have problems as far as, like, in the tight end position, you know, uh, Ebron's a bust. We shouldn't, you know, that's a wasted first round pick. And, you know, we got to work through those things. I mean, that's the NFL that's going to happen. So, you know, that's just the way it is. So I'm not really too worried about that. Uh, it was a great effort at, as far as changing the culture around for Detroit Lions. It's all attributed to Jim Caldwell. To have a person like that, I think the team, I mean, I even heard some teammates or team, some players on the team saying that he was the best coach that the Lions ever had. Never, ever heard that before from any coach. So you know that the Detroit Lions are commanding the respect, uh, or, or the coach is commanding the respect of his players. He is one of the, he is a leader in the trenches. So I think that shows in not only in our city, but as far as for, for the team. So it's doing a great job. Everything is looking good. Uh, upward tick. I mean, they're going to uh, London this week to play the Falcons, which are down. So I expect to see Golden Tate. I don't expect to see Calvin Johnson play. I expect to see more uh, throws to Fullerton, which is an up-and-coming uh, young Receiver. It's basically he's a better version of Broyles. 
I mean, he's actually a little bit better. So I think he's going to be filling in that role, uh, third receiver quite well. So you're going to see a lot more thrown to him. But I still think we have an issue with play calling. Play calling and kicking has gotten better. The special team has gotten better. But play calling is a little bit on a bad side. I know Lombardi, maybe he was scared of his New Orleans team, but it's not that good right now. And it seems to me that um, uh, there is no progression in Stafford being a first overall pick in the sixth year, throwing over, you know, players. I mean, just putting them up to get killed. Uh, there's something, there's, there's no, I don't know if he doesn't want to learn or he's not listening, but there's no progression as far as, he, um, you know, he pretty much almost cost us the game. Uh, throwing away a bunch of interception, putting us in, putting Drew Brees in the short field. So I don't know what is between Lombardi and um, uh, Stafford, but they're not really the chemistry. I don't see it there, and maybe it'll gel a little bit better when Kelvin Johnson comes back after the bye. But overall, I think uh, the Lions are going to go six and two into the bye week, and then Miami comes to town, and then that's a tough stretch right there. A lot of tough teams. I think we're I think we're pretty much gonna beat the uh, struggling Saint or the struggling uh, Atlanta Hawks pretty bad. I mean we're we got a great ground game, we got great receivers and our defense is holding doing it for us. So overall it was a great win for us, great comeback, and it's all about changing the culture in Detroit. We've never had that win before, and it's all attributed to the leader, Jim Caldwell. And I think it was a way better pick than Kevin Winson Wizen Hunt. I think Kevin Wisdom would have came in. I don't think the players would have respected him as much as they would have respected Jim Caldwell. He is a exactly what Detroit Lions needed. Great job to him. Great job to the defense. Um, Lombardi and Stafford need to work on their offense. It's terrible. They need to work on practicing. Practice, practice, practice. Other than that, it was a, it was a great overall experience. Um, Hope you enjoyed the games. I'll see you next week. I think, like I said, we're going to beat Atlanta pretty easily. A 9 a.m. Sunday game, so it should be an easy win. Uh, and no easy win in the NFL, but it should be It should be what it should be. It should, we should beat them. But any given Sunday, anything can happen. But uh, we should beat them. Um, unless we have some kind of letdown. I haven't seen – Lions have been playing their hearts out every single game, other than the fact that the defensive line is playing – because they're in a contract year. But other than that, everything's going great. Um, just waiting for Calvin Jackson after the bye. That's where we're going to see who we really are. We're going to have, we have the Saints, or we have uh, the Patriots, we have the, the Cardinals. I mean, we got some tough games ahead of us. So until next time, hit your boy Fizz. Peace and I'm out.